guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 4, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And we have big breaking news, red alert. The yellow and blue country launches first strike inside the bear territory. Look at this, using the sleeping giant equipment. All right, for the first time ever, the yellow and blue country fires towards the bear territory using the sleeping giant equipment. This is it. This is it. So once again, guys, um, we're going to see what the bear response is going to be. But uh, the sleeping giant are provoking the bear. They are provoking the bear. It's, again, a sleeping giant gave the green light. To the yellow and blue to launch their equipments towards the bear country so the sleeping giants are asking for trouble at the same time i post this video the link will be in the comments box nato readies 300 000 soldiers nato is preparing for a potential biblical war with the bear by developing land corridors to quickly deploy 300 000 sleeping giant soldiers the European front lines. We are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. At the same time, the former leader of the bear has put out another message. We are not bluffing. We will regularly drop N-U-K-E-S on you. We will drop the big ones and keep uh, provoking the bear. And guys, I just posted this video not too long ago. You may want to check this one out. You may want to check this one out. Uh, there's a possibility many of you already watched this video, but this link will be in the comments box. All right, the Sleeping Giant prepares <clears throat> a test launch of Miniman, Miniman 3. And uh, Sleeping Giant simulation shows 90 million DEAD Sleeping Giant citizens in 20 minutes. So prepare yourself. We are seeing great biblical wars happening. The Sleeping Giants are poking the bear. They are provoking the bear. Why is the Sleeping Giant giving green lights now? So now all of a sudden the Sleeping Giants is a bunch of war hawks. Which I've been saying that for three and a half years. I've been saying that for a long time, though. But, uh, yeah, this is it. So, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. And uh, if you can, please share this video. Once again, for those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. My address is highlighted yellow. All the information will be in the comments box. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through pay PayPal, Patreon, Super Thanks, Super Chat, Thank you so much for all your support. Your support truly helps out. I got one more video after this, but it's going to be late night video. Uh, the 4-5 has put out a message about uh, <clears throat> the leader of this sleeping giant lands closing the southern region. So very important message from the 4-5. All right. The yellow and blue has allegedly used sleeping giant made. Look at this. High Mars. Wow. They used the High Mars. Uh, to destroy the bear launchers 20 miles inside the bear territory. A yellow and blue official confirmed. Wow. Okay, so this is it, guys. It seems like uh, it wasn't towards, like, a population. It was towards one of those regions that uh, they have some kind of uh, missile defense system. It, seem it seems like they took that thing out uh, using sleeping giant equipment. Now, remember, guys, two years ago, the Sleeping Giant leader said this. We will send equipment to the yellow and blue country. And this is what he also said. And I promise you that those equipments will not be used to strike the bear territory. That what Joe said two years ago. He promised that those equipments will not be used to hit the bear territory. What happened? Two years later, what happened now? I mean, I'm saying, you know, calling out the lies. Hello? He said that those equipments is not going to be used 
to hit the bear territory only only inside the yellow and blue country so what happened see one thing i tell you i don't forget things i don't i don't forget things right because again those in the spotlight they like to twist the minds of many but uh as long as you have the holy spirit and the shield of god again you be protected and i see the phonies so the lawlessness going on in the uh, sleeping giant in certain parts of the world so it says here this mark the first acknowledged use of the sleeping giant equipment to strike the bear territory since the four six lifted restriction last week and he promised he wouldn't do that bad mr burn bad the bear has warned of serious consequences by the yellow and blue seeks to expand its ability to strike deeper into the bear territory and we are going to go to the yeah we're gonna go with this news article let's see what's going on here look out sleeping giant high mars hit the bear territory for the first time mr burn you got some explaining to do you promise What's going on here, Mr. Byrne? What's going on here? See, they're asking the wrong question to Mr. Byrne. But, uh, yeah. There's a lot of Pinocchios in a 4-6 administration. Days after the Sleeping Giant gave the green light to the yellow and blue country to use Sleeping Giant equipment for the first time on the bare soil, the yellow and blue high Mars appeared to have impacted the bear army position in Burgawad with ATAC. Wow. In images released by the bear telegram account, a bear S-300 slash 400 air defense system appears to be gone. All right, so they hit the S-300, uh, S-400. So that thing was not activated? Usually those S-300, S-400s, they take out missiles. For some reason, something went wrong because uh, it just... It was destroyed, put it like that. According to the Yellow Blue Country Capital newspaper, uh, the Bear official confirmed that the strike over the weekend and major of the Bear media outlets identified the equipment used as an M42 uh, flying equipment fired from the M270 and High Mars system. So this was not like one of those aircraft, all right? So it didn't. There was no F-16 used or F-35 or whatever stuff. But, uh, yeah, they're going to be sending F-16. So, um, But, uh, yeah, this is a big breaking news. The bear side reports that all of these flying objects fired from the yellow and blue were successfully taken down while claiming they were aimed at... Whoa, this is something new here. This is something new. The bear was saying that uh, they were aimed at population. Wow. Now, why would the yellow and blue fire those type of stuff towards population? The yellow and blue and the bear telegram accounts have reported destruction of ammunition depots and other heavy weaponry of the bear a station near the border with yellow and blue but there has been no confirmation from either side so this wasn't like a huge catastrophic event I don't know if the yellow and blue were too paranoid they don't want it to hit like the bear capital and stuff like that they just hit facilities and they hit the s300 s400 and according to the bear there were also um, it seems like some of them were aiming towards us, uh, you know, population or uh, populated area. It's a good thing uh, nothing uh, nothing happened in that region. On May 31st, the Sleeping Giant Secretary, skip all that, announced that the leader of the Sleeping Giant had officially given a green light. And guess what? That happened during the time that uh, Guilty to the four five that was before you know uh, again mr. Byrne came uh, came out and said green light and five minutes later four five you're guilty 
Mm. Again, we can't forget stuff like this, guys. We cannot be forgetting stuff like this. So it says here, green light to the yellow and blue to use sleeping giant equipment against the bear territory. However, the authorization excludes uh, the launch of ATACs and other long range, while it concerns only uh, the bear military targets uh, striking areas near the bear and the yellow and blue border, such as Kharkiv. Now, guys, this is a video here, and it shows that it got hit. It got hit, and it was seems like it was during the evening. Now, I'm going to leave the link in my Twitter page. I can play the video. I'm getting hit really hard and all that type of stuff and copyrights and this and that. The AFU may have hit the S3 or S400 with high Mars. Now, they do have videos and all that information, but again, like I said, guys, I can show it can play it the platform has me on um, you know punishment and I've been on punishment for like almost a year now and it's still again it's still acting like that so you know when you speak about the truth and certain stuff uh, yeah they don't like it all right so once again the former leader of the bear said we are not bluffing we will regularly regularly drop an NUKE mm. Keep provoking the bear. Keep messing with the bear. Now, some people is going to be like, well, Lewis, the bear is messing with the yellow and blue. That's their business. That is their business. Again, why do we have to get involved in other business? And plus, them, them two, those people from the yellow, again, the yellow and blue and the bear, they speak the same language. They are families. Those are, again, the bear leaders trying to fix stuff in that region. You have Mr. Z, the Pinocchio that was put in that spot. Again, he's trying to transform everything. He's trying to change everything around, trying to change the language. He's trying to change history. And the bear, again, the bear's like, hey, you don't mess with this land. This land is part of us, and they speak our language. They have history with us. I, I, again, you don't come here and try to change everything around. And that's the problem with the Sleeping Giant. Pay attention. Sleeping Giant is trying to rewrite history. Pay attention. And that's the thing that other lands is not uh, accepting. You don't come and rewrite history. This is our ancestor. This is uh, this uh, this is our 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 history. This is what got us here. You guys already know. Here in the Sleeping Giant, they try to change history by bringing in the new ones from the southern region. Ask uh, the young ones if they know the Pledge of Allegiance by words, by heart. So rewriting everything. All right, so the former leader of the bear and current deputy chairman of the bear, Mr. Dimitri, said that the bear is not bluffing. When it talks about the possibility of using NUKE against the yellow and blue and that it's conflict, conflict with the NATO and Sleeping Giant could develop into a generalized biblical war. You know, instead of Sleeping Giant trying to provoke the bear, maybe they need to talk and talk things out. That's it, right? I mean, I think that's that's good. The problem here, ladies and gentlemen, there's too much money involved. <laughs> Man, you wouldn't believe how much is being poured into this. Oh, by the way, I got big breaking news. It seems like Mr. Z has taken 300 million. Yes, 300 million to build. A casino. It seems like it's one of the biggest world casino that he's going to create. Boy, oh boy. Uh, I think I'm going to talk about that tonight. Mr. Z, the leader of the yellow and blue. $300 million to build a casino. It's a... I, I don't know which part of the world built, but uh, I'm going to look it up. And, um, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, I've seen a video, and it seems like it's one of those... I don't know if it's Switzerland. I don't know. It's like one of those high mountains that have crystal clear water, and it's gonna be one of the biggest casino world. Uh, I mean, in the world. And so, again, he's he's building that with your T A X money. <laughs> All right. So give me a second here before I forget. Let me just look that up really quick. I got to because I, again, uh, I told you guys I was going to show it tonight, but. Uh, Give me a second here. Give me a second. Give me a second. 
Where is it? Mr. Z, where is your casino at? Where is your casino? <gasps> Mr. Z, how dare you? How dare you? Bombshell allegation. Mr. Z, Mr. Z spent 200 million, not 300, 200 million to buy himself a five star casino resort on the beaches of Cyprus through the company Film Heritage Inc. How dare you, Mr. Z? Ooh. The film Heritage, which he held jointly with his wife, uh, so yeah, it seems like uh, it seems like they're gonna. Again, we're gonna talk more about this later, but yep, that's a sleeping giant money right there. That's our money right there, guys. Our money. All right. So once again, it says here in a post on his official uh, Telegram channel, uh, Dimitri said that the bear capital conflict with the NAT on sleeping giant is developing according to the worst possible scenario and that no one can rule out its escalation to the final stage. Dimitri made the above comments after the Sleeping Giant official told Reuters yesterday that the Sleeping Giant leader tacitly allowed the Yellow and Blue Capital to use Sleeping Giant supplied um, equipment against Target inside the bear supporting a strike in the northeastern of the yellow and blue country city, Kharkiv. Mm. And that's all the information for this one here. That was a quick one. So that's where we at right now. That is where we at right now. Give me a second here. We have a lot more information, guys. And there's a reason. The reason why Mr. Burns has closed the southern region. There's a possibility. Uh-oh. Maybe because of this. Ooh. What's going on here? You guys know this is Texas right here, right? All this is Texas. What's going on here? Let me just bring this up really quick. We're going to talk about this tonight. Breaking 38 pilots out in this land this year. At least 23 candidates out. Man. Just today, a GUN man uh, taken out this person. Who just hours after the Claudia. Man, guys, there's a lot of stuff I can't say here. Uh, but... Uh, it seems like that land is being run by some very powerful ones, and they don't want to see new faces in their spotlight. Whoa. Nowadays, if you want to be a leader for a certain region, the game is not fair anymore. The game is not fair anymore. We've seen that here, too, in The Sleeping Giant. You saw what it did to the four or five. Guilty. Hmm. We've seen that the dark forces, the abominations taking over. They don't want to let go of the uh, throne. They're going to have to deal with, with our father in heaven. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep an update on that one. Is that the reason why the southern region was closed? Or maybe... Perhaps a biblical war is coming and they want to seal the region so that the enemy won't come in. We're talking about uh, forces. We're going to talk all about that tonight. The 4-5, he is sounding the alarm about that story. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many. 
to the righteous path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.